Hey everyone, Shmup Arch 6 has been completed and released for PC and in this video I'll be showing you how to set it up and talking about all the advantages and changes. So here we go, let's open it up. Let's go to in the folder here. Let's go down, find the default VXE, right click. This is optional but I think it's a good thing to do. Create shortcut, rename the shortcut. I would rename it 0.sa, why not? I like to do the zero dot so it goes to the top of all the files here. Then go to properties, change icon, and then if you browse, and if you go into your shmuparch 6 folder, so shmuparch 6, go into assets, go into icon, there's the new icon, okay, apply. Now we have the new icon, pin it to your taskbar. So now you have a custom little icon for shmuparch, which is really helpful because it helps you tell apart other retroarch builds. So I think if you want to play other games in RetroArch, like N64, SNES, all that stuff, you should just use a separate build and leave Shmup Arch alone. And you can put them side by side now and tell the difference which is which. Plug in your arcade stick or your controller, or if you're on keyboard, you should be fine there. Go down to input, go down to port 1 binds, bind default all. I did it to basically match up to default binding, so all you have to do is bind default all and it, and it should in most occasions work unless you got a weird controller or something. Hotkey binds. These are the hotkeys I recommend binding. Uh, the first one, fast forward hold. This is something I like to use. I put it on my L2 button. Load state, very important. I put that on my R1 button. Do not do save state, it's pretty much useless. Because what you want to do instead is menu. And instead of putting it out of the way, I like to put it on my R2 button so it's really easy to access. So those are the hotkeys that you want to have bound. You can also do pause if you want. You can bind that to start if you want to pause with the with the start button. But if you do, just remember you have to unpause when you add credits and stuff. Okay, so we got that set up. Now let's go to our main menu, load content. Actually, let's go to import content, scan directory, and then legit ROMs, of course scan this directory and let the scan begin okay now in arcade games it'll have what was scanned uh, it won't get everything that's why I suggest if you go to load content that you put your ROMs really close to the C drive like I have them right there, so that way you can just manually load them really quickly. Let's see if it got DDP. It got Dodonpachi range. Okay, Dodonpachi. Master. Run. We're set to Final Burn Neo. Remember, don't use any other cores with my Arch. Do not use MAME or any of that stuff, because it only supports Final Burn Neo. That's the whole point of it. Fast forward a little bit. And if you want to get Tate, here's what you do. I play in Tate. What you do is you go to Options, Vertical Mode, On. Now you have Tate. Or if you want, for the sake of this video, to turn it off, Vertical Mode, Off. And you'll also notice in this, there's a really nice new scan line overlay. I think it's really nice and subtle. So I put it on by default. But if you want to remove the scan line, what you do is you go to settings, go to user interface. Oh, sorry, on screen display. And then you go to on screen overlay, turn it off. And now it's off. But I like it, so settings. And you can also change it around and stuff if you want to do different things to it. So let me quickly show you uh, a few of the different changes for this new version. Obviously the new UI is the big one, right? A big up upgrade over the old UI. It also crashes less. So here the settings tab. This is actually the same UI on the Switch version. Load core main menu stuff. Much easier to get around in this UI, I think. Easier to set up the controls as well. Um, some extra additions besides just like config files and stuff which you don't need to worry about you just load the games and the config files do their thing for you but two things I want to show you are Batrider and 
Gorega. So let's open Batrider. If you go to save slot zero and load it, it has everything unlocked. So I, so I recommend for Batrider, do not override the save slot because it's got rank all fixed. Rank's okay, everything's completely correct. So that you get everything you need. Because otherwise you don't have the ability to unlock that unless you do it manually. So that's just some convenience for you. And then with Grega, same thing. So if you go to Grega, save slot zero. All the ships are unlocked and everything. So, besides that, there's just a lot of under the hood changes, uh, inputs been improved, uh, things run smoother. Oh, a big point I want to mention too is that you now need an updated ROM set for some games like DOJ. You need to use the MAME 223, I believe, ROM set, or the latest Final Burn Alpha ROM set, which is a long number string. So, that'll be in the video description. Yeah, I'll just uh, end this by showing you DOJ in action. Why not? And with the MAME set, you have to like extract Black Label out of the DOJ, which is weird, but there you go. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. That's all you need to do to get it set up. Oh, one other change I want to show you is look at this. I just want to show you how you can use save states. So you hit the menu button, you pick your save slot, save state, and then load. Then if you want to change the save slot, you hit menu, save slot one, save, load. This is actually way better for arcade stick players and controller players than MAMES like awful load state save state system on keyboard and everything it's really easy to just uh, navigate the save states and load states now make new save states and also look at this look at how many save states you can have which is a big deal if you want to practice multiple ship types in a chaining game because you can use 100 save states for like CL and then another 100 save states for AL, and then another 100 save states for CS, another 100 save states for AS. So this is actually really useful, but it goes all the way up to 999 save state slots, which is awesome. It used to only be 99, so that's really cool. Yeah, check it out. That's pretty much everything. Peace.